Hello everyone and welcome to my new podcast. Now in this channel we are doing some Sunday podcasts. Now if you know me from Mixer, I did used to do some podcast podcasts. But what's cool is I'm starting it again. Yes. If you enjoyed my podcasts then, hopefully you'd enjoy it now. It's a lot more organised and a lot better. Now, this week we're by ourselves, but normally we would have probably been joined by a guest. Just because what I want to do is I could be joined by a gaming guest every week, which is would be quite cool. Obviously some weeks I can't get anyone, or some weeks I just get someone random. But I want some people from the gaming community. So, anyway... This is a new podcast. It'll be out on Sunday, probably every week. We might miss some weeks. And we'll be talking about gaming stuff and Minecraft stuff that's been happening in that week. And there might be some time in the end where I just talk about, you know, life. So, the first thing is get my merch, be in my Discord, and pay free sub to my Twitch. No, <laughs> okay, I'm joking obviously. Now, cr- Christmas. I just want to talk about Christmas for gaming. Like, it doesn't even feel like Christmas, but what's cool is, like, when we did, were in lockdown, everyone got so good at games. Like, for real, like, all the Fortnite sweats got sweaty, I think. Maybe. Don't fact me check. Fa- don't fact me. Don't fact check me on that. And it's very different this year as of COVID. And what I find funny is there's people who just think that when 2021 comes, they're just going to say, breaking news, COVID-19 has now wildly disappeared, which is not true, obviously. Watch that. Oh, no, okay, don't, no, one, no one quote me on that if it actually does disappear. Because, like, I've got nothing to do with it. (laughs) There's not much editing in these, like, podcasts. There'll be a bit, like, cutting out the dead silence. Which I don't normally have. Because, if you don't know me, I talk a lot. And a lot. And what's funny is, back on Mixer, when I did this um, live... It just got so funny, as I used to plan out some things I'd want to say and mention. And they were meant to take up like 50 an hour. Yeah. But then, I went through them in like the first five minutes. And this is what happened in, this is what's happening with this podcast. Where, it, three minutes in, and we're already one, two, three, four, five. Five topics in. And I've only got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I've only got ten. And I am also aiming for a quite short podcast, just to start off with. I don't want my voice being dead. But, yeah, I want to talk about... There was this one guy earlier this week. So, he has a load of PlayStation games. And most of them were unopened. I don't know why. He had a lot of games, like, I don't even know the amount. And... His mum got angry at him from playing PlayStation all the time. She destroyed them. And all the games together were worth around $500,000. Can you just imagine you're like sleeping and then you see your mum shredding your PlayStation games. That are worth 500000 Okay. That, that would just be a nightmare. But 500,000 for games. That's just a lot. Now, how do you guys... Okay, so the ps is quite new. And what's funny about like these gens of PS5 and Xbox, they all look like some weird stuff. The Xbox, obviously, you know, it's a mini-fridge apparently, which I don't think the Xbox does. I think the Xbox looks quite cool, 
especially if you custom design it. You can make it look like a Minecraft torch. Like, I've seen those on TikTok and stuff, which is really cool, like how you can customise it. Now, obviously, you can customise any console, really, but Xbox Series X is actually pretty cool to customise. Also, if, if you don't like Minecraft, you don't have to make it a torch. You can make it, I don't know what you play, um, you can make it a Fortnite gun. It'd be a very square Fortnite gun. Okay, you can make it like one of those chug jugs or something, or whatever, like a shield pot or something. But I think it looks quite cool. PS5's got some custom designs, obviously. Wi-Fi router with two pieces of paper, everyone knows that. And it's it looks alright, I like it, but it looks better without the disk drive. Just because like, it looks like the disk drive just... It looks a bit bulky, that's what it looks like. I think it's too bulky. The no disk drive, all digital version looks way cleaner and way cooler. And I like the controller as well, it looked quite cool. But like, I know it's more expensive in the long run if you do get it all digital because the games must be like a lot. I want to talk about setups now. Like, everyone makes a big deal of how clean your setup is. But really, if you like it, get it, you know? If you like your setup, don't judge it by other people. Like, my setup right now is kind of a mess. I've got, like, my glass of water, some hot chocolatey. That's probably cold now. And, like, there's stuff all over the place, like pens. I've got my kazoo here. Which is pretty cool. That was probably very loud for you guys. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, everyone's like, oh, you need to stick to a colour scheme. The thing is, colour schemes do make it look better. But, like, if if, if you want different colours, just go for it. Don't listen to others. Because you just be doing that all your life and that's all you'd be doing all your life obviously and I stream and I like a clean setup but like some people stream and then just they like it kind of messy because that's how they do it and if you're not following me already twitch.tv slash flagrant sky anyway what are you doing not following me jeez I well, I like. But the thing is, I've got a new schedule coming. No one, ever, no, no one even knows it yet. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a new schedule coming. And if you want to get good, okay, it's not not good. If you want to succeed in streaming, I recommend having a schedule at the start, so your fans know, you know, where and what you're doing. Cause it's just beneficial, as people look at the time and they're like, oh my god, it's 6pm, flagrant is streaming, and then they hop on. But they normally not check it, like, if I, like, I don't really check my Twitch too often, I only check it if I get, like, a notification, or, like, I know, a streamer schedule. Like, I don't go on it and just browse, because that's not what I do. But I know some people do, that's how people find each other. But still, you should have a stream schedule because it does help out. I also recommend having like a TikTok, a YouTube, um, Twitter. A Twitter really comes in handy. And like, t- TikTok's amazing because the algorithm for TikTok is quite easy. And the easiest platform to blow up on is TikTok without a doubt. Because everyone knows that. Because the algorithm, all you need to do is get a few likes on your way. Like, you have automatic at least, like, 100 people viewing it. Okay, maybe not that, but, like, at least four people view it. And then if they like it, more people will get shown it. And then more and more and more. Which is pretty cool. But as, like, in YouTube, you you don't really get recommended much. And not much people go on it. But on TikTok, they have to go on it. Because you have to have a good thumbnail on YouTube and a good title. Because the content might be good, 
But if people don't click on it, no one knows the content. No subscribers, no likes, no views. So you have to have a good thumbnail and title on YouTube to get views. But on TikTok, you get shown it no matter what. I mean, you can find it through the profile or the search bar. But you still get shown it, which is super cool. And it's really easy to blow up on. And this squad is just... A nice easy way for you and your fans to hang out after your streams and it's good for announcing when you do stream because if you don't have a social media like I don't, if I did, like stopped announcing through my discord my twitter and stuff I'd probably get little to no views probably the no views because no one would know I'm live I'm pretty sure all my fans that watch my twitch videos consistently just watch it through my discord i'm actually gonna do a poll later on in my discord so make sure to be in my discord link in the description if you're watching on youtube and if you're there just react to my poll you know if you watch my streams which so i like tiktok overall many people don't like it i don't know why it's just easy like ways to make videos and it's just 60 seconds is the maximum so like the max you'll be ever doing is maybe an hour because i know some people edit their tiktoks so much with transitions and stuff but like if you're making gaming content or like gaming related content i think the maximum time if you've got some good clips already or just some funny things about Bed Wars or Minecraft or Fortnite or something. I think you can succeed on TikTok. Now, I, I always wanted to go on TikTok, but I just didn't have enough time for it. Like, I do have a TikTok account, but I don't really post on it. I've got, like, I think it's, like, two posts. Yeah, two posts, which is not much. But still. Anyway, we are probably going to be having a um, guest next week, which is pretty cool. We're going to try and get one anyway. Um, we might pick someone small at the start, but then get bigger overall. And hopefully these podcasts go well, obviously. Now... The time I normally aim for a normal podcast, this one's probably going to be shorter, like half an hour or something. But normally I want to get like 40, 50 or an hour, like I've said before. Just so it's a bit longer and so like it's easier. And as you can see already from the first 13 minutes, I do talk a lot. I talk so much. Also, we're not all going to be talking about gaming. When I get gaming stuff, like gaming guests, then I'd probably talk mostly about gaming. But for now, we're not talking about gaming. I want to talk about my dog. My dog, well, m my young dog. She's a Labrador. It's a she, obviously, because I just said she's a Labrador. Um, she's like... Um, golden yeah so like she's very crazy like all the time like all the time especially if you get a ball out like she, when when we go outside for a walk she basically just sits in front of me trying to get the ball just because if i keep throwing it for like four hours which i never do but she'd still go after it. She might only be like walking very slowly after all that walking back. But she'd still go for it. Just because she just, she just loves playing. She's actually four. And she's turning five this April. Which is, to be honest, quite old. For a dog anyway. The lifespan of a Labrador is actually like... 12 years or something something like that anyway so yeah and my older labrador it's a brown labrador he's 
diabetic and blind on one eye. He, he was blind on both eyes, but he had to do a surgery. But yeah, he's actually like 14. He's quite old. He doesn't do much. When we go outside, he obviously just, you know, just walks a bit. And then just, when he waits for us to finish with the ball, he just lays down. And just waits, you know. And then, because he's diabetic, he needs uh, some insulin after his dinner. And before his, no. After his dinner and then in the morning after his breakfast. But yeah. And Christmas will be weird but still fun because you still get the presents. But because it's Covid, it's just very weird because it's not balanced, obviously. But people will get loads of gaming stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think I ordered a new monitor for myself. And then, I don't know what presents I'm getting. Yeah, I'm, I ordered myself a new monitor, because mine, my, my one's broken. <laughs> yeah, I broke my other monitor, like, a while ago. And now I'm using, what, a while ago? That was, like, two days ago. And now I'm using, like, a, I don't even know. It's like a squarish monitor. It's not really square, but it's kind of square. So I ordered a new one. Um, can't remember anything. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. Not too big, because I don't have much desk room, although I've got a corner desk. I still don't have too much desk room, as my PC is here. And I should probably like put it where it's supposed to be. Which is down one bit, but I can't be bothered to do that. And my MacBooks, my Mac, iMac, it's not MacBook, what am I talking about? My iMac's on my left right now. I've got a different keyboard and stuff. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this like squarish monitor just for my Discord. So then when I'm streaming, I always use my iMac to look at chat and then. I'll put on this monitor that I'm using right now, this scored and now my main monitor, obviously Minecraft. And I'll also get some new upgrades for my PC probably, because they're not the best. Um, just so like everything runs more smoothly. And if you say um, you can't stream just because you've got like a bad internet connection or a really bad PC, most of the time you could probably make a sufficient stream out of that. Or if you just have a really trash PC, you can try recording videos because it doesn't take as much internet. Actually recording doesn't take any internet. But it's it doesn't take much like power from your CPU either, which is pretty good. But streaming, that's another thing because that... Like your streams are in loads of FPS. Well, you try and get it as high as possible. Now, I normally stream on 30 FPS and make videos on 60. But I always forget to make videos on 60. And I also need a new CPU. So, if any of you guys have enough money, my Amazon wish list is in the description of my YouTube video. So yeah. And now if you're watching this not on YouTube, I don't know what you're watching on, but still. I'll just go onto my YouTube, it's Flagrant Podcasts, Flagrant Space Podcasts. Go on my wish list and just buy everything. Okay, I'm only joking, do not do that. Like don't do that unless you want to. Because I, I don't want to force anyone into doing something they don't want to do. Because, yes. And, and this is going to be the end of the podcast. I'm really sorry, it's only like 20 minutes. But for the first one, I wanted to make it short and just more information about what I'll be doing in these podcasts. And, you know, what I'll be doing. And... Just everything like guests and just explain as much pos- as possible. So anyway, if you enjoyed this podcast, 
make sure to come back next week and I'll see you next week then. Bye!